it's 5 30. i woke up at four which is why this anyway i have a story about pho and it's freaking amazing i need to sleep <laughs> we're gonna call this the car cam from now on we're bringing the car cam <laughs> Let's talk pho. So, it was Sunday and I went to the gym and I had a really nice workout. It was actually pretty good, but suddenly there was an urge in me to eat pho and there's only one place I eat pho. Pho ha. <laughs> now you may be asking, there are a million pho ha's, which one are you talking about? The pho ha I'm talking about is the one on your screen right here. They're a mom and pop shop, so I'm actually really happy to. Okay, let's hope I remember where I parked. I like parked in the back, which I never park. Like you can hear the freeway right there. I never park in the back and I'm really bad at remembering where I parked. But uh, I have an air tag in my backpack and my backpack's in the car right now. So worst comes to worst, I'll just air tag my car. Support them. I know them, like not personally, but like I know them and I go there enough to the point where they recognize me. So they're a mom and pop shop and they just serve really good Vietnamese food in general. The menu's really expansive. I'll put the menu here. So basically page one is a bunch of pho and then there's also appetizers and broken rice dishes and noodle dishes and dessert. It's, it's a big menu. You'll see it here. So a little history about pho. Basically, the reason why pho is the way it is and why it's so unique is because it is the cross-section of French consomme broth and Vietnamese noodles. So that's why the broth is so clear and tasty and just very clean is because it's based off of a French consomme, which is a clarified broth. And then basically in Vietnam, they added their noodles and their meats and their accoutrements. And that's how pho was born, um, which is why it tastes so unique. And the pho was great. I got the number one, which is the pho that has everything in it. It had brisket, it had flank, it had steak, it had tendon, it had tripe, and of course it came with bean sprouts and Thai basil and lime, and it came out really fast. I mean, that's how pho is, right? You have to cook the thing for, you have to cook the broth for 12 hours, and then you throw the noodles and all the meat and, you know, the bean sprout on the side. So it literally takes five minutes to make if you've made your broth. If you haven't, then it takes like 12, 24 hours, but I took a few recordings. <laughs> the broth was really clean as always, and the noodles were just the right amount of cook. Not not al dente, because you don't want al dente rice noodles. That's kind of weird. But they were cooked to a point where they were just chewy enough, but not mushy. And the way that the meat heats up in the broth itself is just the perfect temperature. And then you add the lime, the jalapeno, the bean sprouts, and the Thai basil. It's just really good. I like to put chili oil and hoisin sauce in it. I don't know if that's the right way to eat it. I think it is, but I'm no expert on pho. And I ate it. I ate it at 10 a.m. Nobody was in the restaurant, which is great because there's usually too many people in that restaurant because it's such a good place. But yeah, that um, that was my uh, journey of eating pho. And it was lovely. I always go there. I'm happy to say that I really like that place. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by them, so this is 100% my opinion. It's just a great place to eat. If I could eat pho every day, I'd probably eat it every other day. <laughs> like, I like pho. I don't love, love pho, so I couldn't eat it every day, if I'm being honest, but I probably could eat it every other day, <laughs> and that's good enough for me. All right, guys, that was the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far, and let me know what food I should eat next. Mm -hmm.